hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to learn how to make an instagram inspired crochet skirt this was won by shansia and uh i thought this would be a very good tutorial to teach i have tried to look out for the original maker of this skirt but i somehow can't find her and if you happen to know her please make sure i tag her in this video because she was the inspiration behind this creation this um, design is made of basic stitches of crochet and you can play around with any colors of your choice i am not trying to steal anyone's design here and i hope um i've mentioned this this is not my original design but uh, i saw an inspirational photo and i decided to make a tutorial of it since it had been a request in my instagram dm for so many people so today we are going to use yarn and the yarn i'll be using is acrylic yarn uh fingering weight and then this is a dk weight yarn this one is a dk these two are fingering weight so for these ones i'll be getting two strands at a go and then for this one i'll be using one strand at a, at a go for the but the black color for the yarn you'll need approximately uh about 200 yards of yarn for each color and uh, if you're making for a bigger size or you're making your skirt longer just make sure you have about 300 yards there will just be just enough for the full project just like you can see here now uh, i made some changes to the original design as you can see on the screen the original skirt doesn't have a waistband and i decided to uh, introduce it to my version of it but all the rest i believe is the same another change is that i don't know what stitch the original person used the original designer used but it seems like she had fewer rows and mine went all the way down and yeah mine seem more than hers and yeah i think that's the main change the waistband as well as the number of rows so maybe we didn't use the same exact stitch because her stitches look a lot longer than mine or her tension is quite bigger than mine so let's get started so we're going to start off with our green color uh we're going to start from the top of the skirt all the way down so starting off with your green color and as i had mentioned earlier on um i'm going to use two strands of the green two strands of the yellow and then one strand of the black the hook that i'll be using is a four millimeter crochet hook then you also need a measuring tip a pair of scissors and dunning needle to weave in your ends if you prefer to weave them in using a dunning needle so grab your yarn and make a slip knot and make a chain that can comfortably go around your hips without over stretching it just slightly stretch and make sure this chain can go all the way around your hips so for me this was a size medium and i did a total of 120 i advise to do in increases of 10 10 chains so 120 for medium 110 for small 100 for extra small that means for large you're going to do a total of 130 then extra large 140 in increases of 10 10 so i'm going to do my 120 chains for my size medium so one two three four and make sure you refer to the sizing chart on the screen so that you get um the rough estimate of where your size falls and that's the number of chains that you're going to do for yourself So I have my 120 chains and now you're going to make sure that your chain is not twisted. Make sure all the Vs are facing up like that 
and then you're going to go into the very first chain you're going to go into the very first chain and insert your hook and then yarn over and pull through all and that counts as a slip stitch so this is my 120 so you're going to make a chain of one and go into the very first chain where the chain one is attached to and you're going to make a half double crochet so this pattern is explained in the u.s terms so for a half double crochet you're going to yarn over insert your hook into the chain pull up a loop you'll have three loops on your hook these are six because i'm using a double strand so three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all and then yarn over go into the next chain pull up a loop yarn over pull through all and you're going to repeat this all the way around placing one half double crochet in each and every chain around and this is round one So we're coming to the end of row one or round one and you're going to have to make sure that your work is not twisted. I can't emphasize this enough because uh, the moment you notice that your work is twisted and you're like 10 rows into the project, trust me, you will have to repeat the project from, this, from the beginning. So make sure your work is not twisted and finish up the very last chains, placing one half double crochet into each until the very last one and then from here you're going to go on top of the very first half double crochet and insert your hook pull through all and that's a slip stitch to wind up our very last um our very first round so once you make a slip stitch here you're going to chain one get your pair of scissors and cut your yarn leaving a strand behind and then pull through and then you're going to give that knot a tug just to tighten a little bit so this is what we have for our round one now round two you're going to get your next color mine will be yellow and you're going to make a slip knot And then you are going to this stitch uh, that we are going to use for this project is worked in between the stitches we are not going to work into the top of the stitches we are going to work in between the spaces between the stitches so just right before this chain that you've left behind you're going to separate your work and go into the space in between the last two the first and the last half double crochet so you're going to attach your yarn there just like that and then you're going to chain one and half double crochet into the same space and remember for this pattern uh, the chain one doesn't count as a stitch so we've placed one half double crochet into the same space and then remember the chain one doesn't count as a stitch so this is not a stitch you're going to skip over the next half double crochet and into the space you're going to place one half double crochet you're going to go in between the next two half double crochets with one half double crochet and you're going to repeat this all the way around just placing one half double crochet in between each two half double crochets and this is what your work is going to look like it will make sense later on this is the texture that it's going to create as we go along this is what it will create uh, this is the effect that's created when the half double crochets are worked in between the stitches not on top of the stitch so 
we just keep going all the way around and I'll meet you back towards the end of round two. So we're coming towards the end of round two and as you can see I'm placing my very last half double crochets of the round and this will be the very last one in between this half double crochet and this one so i'll place my last half double crochet there and then i will make a slip stitch on top of the very first half double crochet of the round so insert your hook pull through all and then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn just like we did for round one and then pull through and give it a tug now there's some few things that you have to notice at this point uh, we are working in the same direction of the previous round we are not turning our work every other time and the other thing that you have to notice at this point is that the number of stitches that you have that you had for round one is the same number of stitches that you should be having for round two and all the way down until we get to the ruffle round so we're going to maintain the number of stitches we're just going to make a plain skirt a box skirt or rectangular skirt until we get the length of the skirt that we need now um i'll go on to my third color just to demonstrate in case someone didn't get it right and also to show you the effect of using one strand of yarn as opposed to the two strands that we've been using for the previous two colors so as i mentioned earlier on this is a dk weight yarn and these are finger ring weight yarns so make a slip knot this is our black color and we're going to go in the space before the tail that we left behind for our previous color so into that space between the two half double crochets and then attach your yarn just like this and then you're going to make a chain of one which doesn't count as a stitch and then half double crochet into the same space then from here you are going to go after the next half double crochet remember the chain one doesn't count as a stitch so after this half double crochet you're going to go into the next space with one half double crochet and continue to place one half double crochet in between the half double crochets all the way around and you should notice that the tails have already started hanging on the wrong side of the work since we are working on only the right side we are not turning our work every other round so you're going to just continue to make one half double crochet in each and every space between the half double crochets of the previous round until you come back to the end of the round now when you come back to the end of the round you'll wind up your round just like we did for the previous rounds and we're going to keep doing this again and again and again and your work will keep building and the effect of the three colors will start to show uh, as you continue to work the the colors in the same exact order just like we have for our final piece so keep growing your work row by row and i'll meet you back when i have my desired length and i'll show you how to work the ruffles and also how to work the waistband i'll be giving you the total measurements of the skirt later on and you will decide what length you want for yours and how to alter this design for yourself so just go ahead and keep working these rounds and i'll meet you back when i have enough rounds for my skirt okay guys i went ahead to do a total of 37 rows and i must tell you you have to be very patient with this to with this piece because it doesn't build up very fast and it takes some time to get to this level and uh, right now I have a total of 37 rows and I am just about to place my yellow color onto the very bottom of the skirt 
So the yellow is going to create the ruffles that we see at the base of our inspirational photo. And then the other thing that I noticed is the, the photo doesn't have a waistband, which I want to create for mine. So I'm going to do some changes as well. So once you get the length of the skirt that you need without the ruffles or, or the ruffle detail of the skirt, uh, you are going to get your color that you're going to use for the ruffles. Another thing that I have to point out is you're going to have so many loose ends to weave in i'll weave them in later on uh, when we are done with everything but for now we are going to just uh, you can see the seam line is moving around and i don't like it but somehow i couldn't avoid it so you're going to get your base color or the color that you're going to use for your ruffles and create a slip knot and now we are going to do something quite different. I am going to attach my yarn in any space between the half double crochets and uh, chain three. The ruffle row is going to be made of double crochets, not half doubles. So into the same space, I'm going to make a total of um, three more double crochets. One, two, and three. And that's all you're going to go into the next space between the next two half double crochets and make a total of four double crochets one two three and four and you're going to go all the way around placing four double crochets into each and every space between um, the two next half double crochets like that Just four double crochets are enough. If you want your ruffle to be more dramatic than this, then you can make a total of five double crochets into uh, each space after each half double crochet. But this is basically fine. And as you can see, the ruffles have already started creating themselves. You don't have to um, put any science to it. You just have to create to place the four double crochets and the ruffles are going to be created automatically so just go all the way around and i'll meet you back at the beginning of the row all the round okay guys uh we're coming to the end of our ruffle row all round and oh my god it looks so beautiful i'm just very excited about the final ruffle at the bottom let me just finish this part i'm making my very last four double crochets into the last part make sure you don't skip any space that way you're going to have an even or a very uniform ruffle all around the base of your skirt so this is my very last double crochet there and then I'll go on top of the very first chain three of the round and place a slip stitch like that. And then chain one and cut my yarn. If you want your ruffle to look uh, a bit thicker than this, then you're going to do another round of um, yellow or your ruffle color. Or uh, the other thing that you have to note is if you want this thicker and you're to go for a second round of your ruffle color you're going to just go ahead and place only one double crochet in each and every stitch all the way around that um the second round we don't place any increases we just place one stitch on up on top of each and every stitch from the previous round so look what we have guys this is the moment of truth look at how the ruffle has turned out very cute very pretty and now um we are going onto the top part of the skirt before we get rid of the loose ends so you're going to get your yarn for me that will be green uh this yarn should be the very first color that you used for your first round and for me this is green and uh, for those people who wouldn't want to alter any um, to alter the style of the original design then you're going to just make 
a long chain. Just start off with a slip knot and make a long chain of about 300 chains. I think 300 would be enough. If you want it more dramatic, you can go for 350 chains or however long you want your strap to be. So I'm going to make my 300 chains and I'll be back to show you what to do. So uh, you're going to put this aside. If you don't want to alter the design, then this is the same exact um, chain that you're going to use. Make sure the same line at the back is in the middle. Mine is a bit crooked, but just try to put the same line at the back and then turn your work to the front and you're going to just weave in this chain in and out of every stitch just like I'm doing right now. Okay guys, after weaving in your drawstring into the very first round of the of the skirt, this is going to make the waistband adjustable just like this and you can always pull on it in case the waist opening is big or in case it's small, you just have to pull it outward so that you can create more room for your body to fit perfectly well into this space. So um, this is it for the people who want the same exact design as the inspirational photo. You just tie your knot around here and this is exactly what you'll have. You're going to go ahead and weave in your ends. I'll be demonstrating that after giving you the alternative tool for those people who want the waistband for their skirt. Now, um, for those who would like the the waistband for the skirt, you're going to just remove this drawstring. You don't have to put it at this level. Now you're going to get your yarn, your waistband color, and make a slip knot and attach your yarn at the back in any space in between the two half double crochets. I prefer to attach in the exact middle back and then I'm going to make a chain of three and then make a front post double crochet in the next half double crochet. So yarn over, front post double crochet into the next stitch and then back post double crochet into the next. Just watch what I'm doing. Front post into the next. and back post into the next. Just like that. Now we're going to continue alternating between the front post and the back post double crochet all the way around. And I'll meet you back at the beginning of my round here. Okay, so we've made it all the way around and I have a few stitches left and I'm still alternating between the front post and the back post double crochet. So I've ended with a back post double crochet into the very last stitch and I'll go on top of the very first chain three of the round and place a slip stitch there. So now we're going on to our next round, which is round two of the waistband. You're going to make a chain of three, which counts as a double crochet and then place a front post double crochet in each front post and a back post in each back post in each back post double crochet so um if you to look at this some of the stitches the stitches that stick onto the top of the skirt are the front post double crochets and those ones that are pushed back for example these ones in between there the ones that are pushed back are the back post double crochets so you're going to place one front post double crochet in each of the front post double crochets and then one back post in each of the back post double crochets in order to keep the placement of the ridges in one straight line. So that is going to give us a ribbed effect for our waistband. So go all the way around doing this 
and I'll meet you back at the beginning of my round. Alright guys, uh, so we've come to the end of the second round of the waistband and uh, I am going to just make one slip stitch into the top of the first chain three of the round and then I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn. So uh, this is what we have for the front part of the skirt. You can see this. You can go ahead and make one more round of the waistband if you want your waistband thicker than this. Uh, you just repeat the same exact thing that we did for round two of the waistband, placing one front post double crochet on each front post and one back post on each back post. And then you'll get something that looks like this, just a little bit longer for the top color. Now we're going to get a drawstring, the same exact amount of chains that you did for the version that doesn't have a waistband and you're going to place your work like this and we're going to go in and out of every two stitches of the first round of the waistband so the round below the very final round so it in and out of every two stitches of the waistband but we are going into the first round of the waistband and weaving in our drawstring and this is what it will create you can see where the drawstring is passing so go all the way around weaving in your drawstring until you come back to the exact middle of the skirt where we have this tail hanging here All right guys, so we've made it all the way around and these are the two strings. So you can just go ahead and tie a knot at the front and this drawstring is going to be adjustable to make your waist opening either smaller or bigger. And then you're going to tie a knot there. Now you're going to get your pair of scissors because now it's time for us to get rid of these loose ends that we created on the wrong side of the skirt. We are going to uh, get rid of each and every one of them so that we can have a neat finish. But for now, this is what our skirt looks like. And now let's go on to the next step, weaving in the ends. All right, so you're going to turn your work onto the wrong side so that we can see all the loose ends clearly, like that. And the same line should be at the back of your work. Now, you're going to start tying two two strands. You should notice that you should be having two strands at every point. So where you, um, let me see, where you left off your previous color and then the new color that you attached, you'll be having two opposite colors at every point for example here i have green and yellow i'll just make a double knot or a triple knot just to be secure enough but i think i'll go with the double and then from here i'll cut my yarn and then go to the next two the black and the yellow make a double knot to secure my yarn and then i'll cut Make sure you're doing this on the wrong side of your work so that um, these knots are not seen on the right side of the work. So you're going to just go ahead doing this until all these tails are finally over. You can see all these. I'm going to just go ahead and keep doing that until I get rid of almost everything. So I am done with uh, getting rid of all the loose ends that I had on my skirt and you can see that line it's almost invisible because now it's very neat and when we turn our work onto the right side of the skirt um, this is what we have at the back you can see 
it's almost not visible of course when worn it's going to stretch out and the seam line will almost be invisible totally and when we come to the front side of our work this is what it looks like and this is basically it this is how your skirt will look like and there you have it you have your jamaican striped skirt inspired by chancia and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you in my next tutorial don't forget to subscribe to the channel so i'll see you soon in my next video bye